thinking, Matt. The more I try to make my life better, the worse it gets. Ah, you're spiraling, David. Everything's fine. What the fuck? All right, maybe you need to see my therapist, Dr. Kessler. You might need some professional help. Okay, what's the number? It's 212-555-5555. Again? 555-5555. Yeah. Okay, and what's the address? 123 Main Street, Anytown, USA. Okay. All clear on Main Street, nothing to report. Hello, this is Dr. Kessler. Hi. Come it's... in, Mr. Wayne. Hi, David. I'm Carol Kessler. Welcome. Pleasure. Oh, you sound different than you did on the uh, intercom. Oh, I know. The intercom makes everyone sound like an old Jewish man. But who has time to fix it? I mean, what with the pace of modern times and just voicemails and fax machines and CB radios. So why don't you uh, take a seat and uh, we'll get started, okay? Just a second. Uh, breaker, breaker, this is the Poodle Cruncher, and I will be radio silent for uh, the next hour or so. Over and out, good buddies. Okay, so, David, what brings you to therapy? I don't know, I've just been lonely, kind of depressed, can't seem to keep a relationship going. No, stop. You're here, but you're not here. Start again. Okay, well... How much do you masturbate? I don't know. David, we're almost out of time, but what I'm hearing from you is that you would like to meet someone new and maybe curb that compulsive masturbation problem. I'm assuming that you had a relative that raped you. Now, would that uh, be in the house, or was it more like a city zoo, or what? Was that the zoo? Anyway, I'm going to a banquet tonight for the uh, National Psychological Society, and my husband is out of town. Would you like to accompany me? Oh my God, Dr. Kessler, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you, David. And, uh, do me a favor, call me Carol. Evening, Dr. Kessler. Where's Marvin? Who cares? This is David. He's a patient of mine. Let me guess: obsessive compulsive. Try again. Bipolar. Nope. Intermittent explosive disorder. Wrong. Anorexia nervosa. No. Nope. Munchausen syndrome. No. Nope. Paraphilias. No. Nope. Okay, I give up. What's wrong with this guy? I don't even know. I've only had about a two-minute session with him so far. Gotcha. Nice to meet you. Come here, you. I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Oh, Carol, this is just inappropriate on so many levels. Come with me. This is the ladies' room. I'll just Relax, wait outside. Relax, dog. Come on. What are you doing? Oh my god, are you kidding? It's weird. It's weird. Put your fingers in my panties. Oh, that's Do sweet. it. Now? Ow! Now you, hit me. Are you okay? What time is it? I don't know. What are you doing here? Go! Give somebody some privacy, you fucking asshole! David. Carol? Dr. Kessler, if you please. This is my husband, Marvin, and you know Matt. How could you, David? But, I mean, do you have any idea how this makes me look? But I... I what do you think I was? You think I'm some kind of chump or something? Jesus. We have uh, decided not to press charges, David. But if you ever step foot in any town again, I will personally stab you right through the heart with a sharpened flagpole. I don't understand. I just came to her for some help, and then suddenly last night she takes me to this weird party. There's a disease, a cancer in this room, and its name is David Wayne. I hope you die soon. Marvin? Absolutely. Matt? Matt? Not you, Matt. You're my friend. Not anymore, David. I hope you die as soon as possible. After you, what you did to Dr. Kessler and her husband, unforgivable. Now, I don't want this session to end on a sour note, so I brought some slow house groove I thought that we could all dance to.
better, Mother. Don't you love me? No, I don't. I regretted having you the moment you slithered out of my baby hole. 